Chaos, Making a New Science by James Gleick is a landmark book that brought the complex field of chaos theory into the public eye. The book was first published in 1987 and explores the burgeoning field of chaos theory, which studies complex systems and the underlying order in what appears to be random or chaotic behavior. Gleick starts by explaining traditional physics and its focus on linear, predictable systems. Classical physics, with its laws of motion and gravity, can predict the orbit of planets and the trajectory of objects with great accuracy. However, this approach starts to break down when confronted with more complex, dynamic systems. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, scientists like Henri Poincaré began to explore the behavior of systems sensitive to initial conditions, where small differences in the starting point could lead to vastly different outcomes. This sensitivity is a key characteristic of chaotic systems and underlies the famous butterfly effect, the notion that the flap of a butterfly's wings might ultimately influence weather patterns on the other side of the world. Gleick introduces us to the pioneers of chaos theory, including meteorologist Edward Lorenz, whose work with weather prediction models inadvertently led to the discovery of chaos. In the 1960s, Lorenz created a simple computer model to simulate weather patterns and found that tiny numerical variations could produce wildly different results, leading him to conclude that long-term weather forecasting might be fundamentally impossible. Another figure crucial to the development of chaos theory is mathematician Benoit Mandelbrot, who investigated irregular, fractal geometries that are now central to chaos theory. Mandelbrot showed that complex, self-similar shapes, which he called fractals, appear throughout nature, in the branching of trees, the structure of clouds, and the shape of coastlines. These fractals have the property of being scale invariant, meaning they look similar at various magnitudes of magnification. The author also describes the work of mathematicians like Mitchell Feigenbaum, who studied how simple mathematical equations could lead to complex, chaotic behavior and discovered universal constants that apply to different chaotic systems. As researchers studied such phenomena across various disciplines, they realized that chaos was not a rare or special condition, but pervasive in the natural world. Systems as distinct as the stock market, the human heart, and the populations of animal species were found to display chaotic behavior. The realization that chaos had a structure, that it was not merely random noise, opened up a new way of understanding the world. The development of chaos theory also required advancements in technology. Computers allowed mathematicians and scientists to simulate complex systems and visualize chaos in action. This synergy between computation and theory propelled the field forward and allowed for the exploration of chaos in greater depth. One of the central discoveries in chaos theory is the existence of strange attractors patterns of behavior that chaotic systems tend to follow over time. These strange attractors have a fractal structure and show how systems can be deterministic, i.e., their future behavior is determined by their initial conditions, but effectively unpredictable due to their sensitivity to initial conditions. The book delves into the implications of chaos theory for various fields. In physics, chaos has challenged the notion that the universe is a clockwork mechanism, instead presenting a universe where complexity arises naturally and order and chaos are intimately linked. In biology, chaos offers a framework for understanding the unpredictability and adaptability of life. In engineering and applied sciences, recognizing and accounting for chaotic dynamics is crucial for the design of stable structures and systems. Gleick also explores the philosophical and metaphysical implications of chaos theory. The deterministic yet unpredictable nature of chaotic systems raises questions about the nature of determinism itself and about our ability to know and predict the world around us. Throughout the book, Gleick provides a narrative not just of the science, but of the scientists behind the discoveries, portraying their struggles, revelations, and debates as they piece together a new understanding of chaos. The personal stories and professional challenges that form the backdrop of scientific progress highlight how the establishment and acceptance of new ideas can be as tumultuous as the chaotic systems being studied. 
In conclusion, Chaos Making a New Science presents an engaging and comprehensive look at the development and implications of chaos theory. It charts the shift from a worldview dominated by linear, predictable processes to one where complexity and chaos are central. Through the work of its pioneering scientists, chaos theory has revealed a new layer of the cosmos, one that is rich with complexity, subtlety, and a level of order previously unnoticed in systems thought to be disordered. The book ultimately reveals how chaos theory has fundamentally altered our understanding of nature, providing insights into the interconnectedness and dynamic evolution of complex systems. Through this lens, chaos is not simply disorder, but a profound and intricate harmony that operates on scales and in a manner that challenges our conventional wisdom and scientific methodologies. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.